So I'll see you when I get in Krakow. I'm in Gdansk in Poland. I arrived at Warsaw Modlin Airport. Rock claw. I know it's Poland because I know where that is. So, this is the apartment that I have for the night. It's very early in the morning, not a lot of places open. Today, we're off to Magic Kingdom. Now when I got off, I'm looking round and I couldn't see exactly where I was going. So I just took a little walk around this bend. Still not knowing where I was going. And then I faced this. And I thought, oh my God, the size of this. I'm, I just think this is so quirky. Can't wait to see inside. Good morning, it's half past eight and uh, the alarm's just gone off and I have to vacate by 10 o'clock so I'll have to get ready and go over and have my breakfast. Right, so I've arrived in the centre of Dublin. I'm on one of the most popular streets here in Dublin, it's O'Connell Street. And the reason why I'm pointing like this is because this area is known as Temple Bar. It's another wet day here in Brussels. But one thing to do when I'm walking around, I've got a few hours to kill. But I like to have a look at some of the old architecture. I'm inside a tent. I've got about 20 children. It looks like a classroom being, being run in the middle of the square. They must know what's going on. I haven't got a clue. This is as far as the bus goes, it's called Syntagma. I think I've got that pronounced right. I'm in Greece, I'm in Athens, and I boot one night stay in this hotel behind me. This has to be one of the best views in the world. Well, this weather doesn't want to give up yet. It's absolutely freezing. The rain stopped for a little bit, it's starting again now, so I've done a few snaps around the city of Riga. <laughs> Hello and welcome to sunny Benidorm.
Oh, did you? Okay, how are you? I'll give you a hug. And you? We'll be you Daddy. Yes, you will be. You're on it now. I'm going to take a little bit of a trip up to Ventor Cross. The original cross was made of wood and was erected in 1961 by local Catholic monks. Well, we eventually got here, it took an hour and 20 minutes, but it was well worth it, especially for that view. Just north of Levante Beach, about 15 minutes walk, is a little cove known by Alma Drabba. It's a nature's cove. People don't really know about it. El Pueblo Market is every Wednesday and Sunday. So join me as I board the number 10 bus to Albia. Today I thought I'd have a little journey out of Benidorm. I've decided to travel 30 kilometres inland to a little village known as Guadalest. Well, there's one good thing about actually reaching the top. It's downhill from now on. Right, so eventually I arrived at Fuengarola train station. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young, it is just This is absolutely beautiful. There's so many people still out, so many people still on the beach. I'm in Costa del Sol, I'm in the town centre of Torremolinos.
I've eventually made my way over to the beach here in Malaga. Thank God for Google because I haven't got a clue where I'm going but I searched for a main tourist attraction and I found this place. I'm right in the centre of Tirana and this is known as Skanderbeg Square. I'm here in sunny Blackpool, as you can see.
I'm outside Pontons here at Southport. I'm in North Wales. I'm actually in a place called Prestatton. And as you can see behind me is a complex. No, it's not a concentration camp. It's actually Ponton's holiday camp. Today, I've decided to visit the city of Chester.
been upgraded from the standard double room that I'd booked. Oh. Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. I'm in Gdansk in Poland and I've decided over to Alicante. I'm going to Benidorm. I've arrived in the old part of without trying Dublin's favourite drink. Of course, a pint of Guinness. But I thought, someone said to me, It doesn't have a bar, it has a small lounge, and I did say to the reception, oh, So no pool, no bar, a small little lounge. Right, so, so it's, for one night in a superior room. Let's check out this hotel.